Ah, I cannot do a tumble today because my hair is too complicated and I will break my neck. Hi. Hello. I think we probably have all seen, but the first tiger, it's actually two tigers, have tested positive for COVID-19 at a zoo in America. Fuck. Yes. So obviously, I think that this has really brought home how we don't know shit about shit and we all need to fucking wait a minute before we start like, yes, that there are scientific papers, but also, can we wait a minute? Can we just wait a minute? So the tigers have tested positive. There's also now been a dog or so that has tested positive. And I think it, um, I, I don't know if you remember, but maybe about a month or three weeks ago, obviously time has ceased to have meaning. I think it was probably only two weeks ago, but that block headed jaw, uh, block jawed uh, vet dude. Oh, oh, the Bondi vet whose head is Bondi like a vet. cube. Yeah. Chris Brown. Yeah. Not he, that Chris Brown, the other Chris oh. Brown. But I'm talking about that huge cube-headed man who does the uh, celebrity. The cube-headed man. Let's I'm put a, a picture of his jaw murder me in the here. jungle. It'll be roughly this shape. <laughs> I think we should put his head on both our heads okay. for a second. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, <laughs> so, he, uh, like so many other people, about three weeks ago, wrote an article, like, joined in on the chorus of people being like, rejoice, your pets can't get COVID-19. Don't and drop your pets off at the RSPCA, don't dump them in the river, they're no, okay, they're fine. pets can't they get, cannot get coronavirus. It. And we, like, I think we all just absorbed that, like, all right, fact truth, it comes from science, it comes from, like, people we trust, it comes from a fucking vet. And here we are, merely, like, mere weeks later, where they're like, um, actually. Tigers have got it. They don't know that it can pass to humans, they don't know that like how exactly they get it it seems like it's 99.5% the same as the type that uh, humans get mm. either way I think the whole thing just points out we don't know shit about shit and like I think we should probably wait a little bit before we start to be like hooray answers should we stop letting the cats out in case someone with coronavirus pats them and then they catch it I don't know how much it, I don't know how it works I don't know but I think that isn't that the thing like we don't know Yes. Just don't know. Which again is I think how it's re restraining the spread of it has been so difficult because every step of the way is like it can't live on surfaces that long or oh, actually it can't. Boats can. are immune. Everyone is now being told hey wear masks and I understand that the initial push was for Joe Shithead and his family to not buy up all the masks and gloves so that medical practitioners didn't have them but if I have coronavirus <laughs> yeah. and me talking with my outdoor voice inside is spraying the pellets everywhere. Have you watched that video where they like show the spray? Like I've seen old flu spray. ads where it's like you sneeze. Oh my like, God, <laughs> right now that camera is probably covered in like- Drenched in <sighs> coronavirus if we have it. Uh, so I understand, you know, don't get us all to buy those, but they could have said, hey, wear a scarf around your face. Cause yeah, the scarf, it won't protect mouth. you necessarily, but it will stop your spray from going Remember early elsewhere. on they were like, just dab, just dab. Just yeah, so you're just walking around with this like nuclear <laughs> hot spot of coronavirus like you're just every for a whole day To your, <laughs> to your enemy, <laughs> you're just like shh, <laughs> quiet, quiet well, There's that Daniel Kitson thing where you can sort of because you shake hands with your friends and you put your enemies in headlocks and sleep <laughs> So you can Obviously. wrap it around their face Nice and gentle um, Yeah, so you know the, the the posters to what they are considering to be known knowledge that's what I think about I'm getting coronavirus at. Like, is sliding around all the time. So quickly. And I think that's why um, I feel like my my tether on what is real and true and good and known is been so slippery slidey recently that it's really hard to like <laughs> feel. If they come out and go, actually, it is 5G causing it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah, we, we, we re-looked at the numbers and uh, yeah, it's 5G. It made the bees drunk and the bees passed it on to us this and now time. we've all got coronavirus. God damn it, how embarrassing. And also, Yo. turns out, world actually flat. I was going to say that. Isn't Who the world knew? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. But, yeah, but they haven't said that yet, so we're not buying into that. These things are flip-flopping so quickly that it makes me feel... Like, if they told me tomorrow I could go outside, kind of like when a, a game is first released on Steam, you kind of wait a few weeks for them to patch to it a bunch. To see if it's all fucked up. Is yeah. it going to be shit? This is the same thing. I feel like at this point, because they clearly don't know, no one does, because it hasn't been long enough, and how can you have longitudinal studies about shit? Like, In the short term. Can you imagine if our government chooses to go with any of those policies I talked about earlier, right? Like herd immunity, oh, right. I don't, I don't, I sort of a And guess. we don't know what the long-term effects are on people's lungs. Like, I get that I sound like I'm probably being some kind of like really anxious, crazy person, but at the same time, if we don't know, we don't know. Mm. Why would we just be like, oh, did we, that's been figured out in the last two weeks? Excellent, I'm gonna go with that then. I don't know about you, but I'm okay with not knowing. I, I would rather just accept that we don't know, see the information come in, wait for some meta-analyses, and uh, take it from there. 
I'm just never going to leave the house <laughs> again. I wish and you would. It would be uh, a tremendous load off me as far as uh, my wrestling comeback because now I don't have to bother and I could have been, oh, I could have been a contender, but damn coronavirus. What are you talking about? We start wrestling uh, here. Just you versus nobody. And what are you going to do when my corona pythons run wild on you? Uh, I don't know what that means, so probably nothing. <laughs> um, that is the best way probably to wrap up because the WrestleMania has happened and it was in front of nobody. Yes. Uh, so WrestleMania, biggest wrestling company in the world. It's the championship of the immortals. It's the showcase of the okay. immortals. All right, look, we're not all fans. No, Some of us just no, hear about it. I mean, I know I'm not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they were they were all set to run their show in front of eighty thousand people in Tampa, Florida, and Ooh. they were they were holding off on canceling it, and then they're like, oh, if you insist. Um, but they're doing the thing that a lot of indie feds thought about doing and running with an empty venue, no fans, and just wrestlers interacting. <laughs> Which obviously that doesn't... Was a fan. Yeah, I know, there was a ceiling fan at the event. Just uh. the one. Um, but obviously, that doesn't mean the talent themselves can't infect each other, and I don't know what the space is like backstage. So, one thing to look for in the coming weeks will be if any of the talent from WrestleMania Can you gets sick. Imagine? But they've, they've been doing other TV shows too, so I don't know if you just. Well, you so get, is ABC News, so like, things are still obviously happening. Are the newsreaders Essential sitting work? further apart? I think so, but also, like, don't it's know. not impossible. Well, we are taking this seriously, like more seriously than most people. Like Friendly Geordies is still putting out content and he doesn't live with Matt the cameraman, does he? So they're still, essential, they're still going Don't call him out, I'm scared, I don't other. want him to yell at us. No. Um, Please don't judge we, me. We think you're cool. Yeah, we like your show. And uh, your jawline puts vet Chris Brown to shame. <laughs> and on that note, we're gonna wrap this because I've been sitting, the cats live on this couch normally and I can really only sit on it for about 20 minutes before I start getting incredibly allergic to it. And I'm hitting that threshold now. So we're gonna get out of here before snot starts running down my face and ruining my sexy, that is a too tight and well unbuttoned outro. shirt. Yeah, so um, keep washing your hands and um, don't trust anyone, Ever. especially not us. <laughs>